Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTicker. Fan friends, I'm back with the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the IQ Sun versus Realme GT Neo 2. And during this time of testing, I'll try to use the GT mode which is present in the Realme GT Neo 2 and Ultra Game mode which is present in the IQ Sun device. So this is going to be really very very interesting and this is my first time doing this kind of comparison side by side. Let's see which phone has got what type of potential in it. And these are the 5 games which I did select during this time of demonstration. Asphalt 9, Battlegrounds Mobile game, Call of Duty, Free Fire Max and the Genshin Impact game. So let's see friends which phone will be able to load this fast. And both are in the Snapdragon 870 chipsets only and 8 plus 4 GB of RAM expendable storage and 8 plus 5 GB RAM expendable storage in the Realme GT Neo 2. Everything is turned on. And let's start with the basic reboot test and then I'll be able to continue the speed test between these both phones. And in case if you want to know more details about the speed test and RAM management things comparisons, so make sure to follow the playlist which are created for the process speed test. As you can see, there's a playlist which is called process speed test. So you can click on that one and you will be able to find all the speed tests which I did before using the Realme GT Neo 2 because you should know everything about Realme GT Neo 2. A lot of videos, as you can see, so many videos I did upload for the past couple of days. So which might be useful for you in case if you're planning to buy or maybe if you already bought the device as well. So right now this is a Wi-Fi connection which I connected in uh, both phones because that's also the main thing. So right now both phones are connected to the same 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. So nothing much difference in both phones. Exactly. Perfect. And let me try to clear everything from the background. So all the apps are completely cleared from the background. And we're going to start with the first game which is Asphalt 9 game. So let's get started friends without wasting any time and uh, I forgot to turn on the GT mode, sorry, my bad. So GT mode is on and Ultra game mode is on. So all these games are added into the game space as well because I did add these games in the Ultra game mode. So it's kind of equal. So this is going to be really very interesting to see how much difference can it be there between these both phones. So GT mode is turned on successfully and Ultra game mode is also turned on successfully. I'm trying to show you again and again because I don't want to make any kind of mistakes at this moment. Let's see how much difference can it be there between these both phones. Try to observe the video in slow motion in case if you want to point out little bit difference. So one, two and three. So both phones I did click at same time and both phones are opening with the gain space and the ultra game mode boosters and GT mode is also turned on in the Realme GT Neo 2. Now we're going to see what is happening, how many points each phone going to get out of five points. So Asphalt 9 game, wow, that's very close, that's very close, it's not possible for me to do so. very close as you can see friends, instant, exactly, if you want you can watch in slow motion and you can decide, let's see the battery and mobile game, what happens right now with this game, the first point is a draw point, draw match between both phones and second also gonna be slightly kind of draw match but Icosan was able to load a little bit faster, and both are loading with the same kind of speed and here comes the winner, which one, which one, which one. Realme GT Neo 2 did open first, then the IQ sound device, little bit faster. Just a little bit faster as you can see. Just a little bit. And one point for the Realme GT Neo 2 at this moment with the loading speeds. One, two, and let's start the Call of Duty. Let's see the Call of Duty game, what happens. So one point in the lead for the Realme GT Neo 2 at this moment and Call of Duty. So as I said, this is uh, maybe the power of the Realme GT GT mode which I did use and Call of Duty, I did get the message first in the IQ sound device confirmation and Call of Duty game might be opening first in the IQ sound device at this point, you can see. So one point for the IQ sound device and one point for the Realme GT Neo 2 as well. Now let me just go to the home screen and let's open the FIFA Max. So let's see which shows the logo first. Logo first showed in the IQ sound device and then showed in the Realme GT Neo 2 in terms of showing the logo and touch to open I got the option first in the IQ sound device and next touch to open I got in the Realme GT Neo 2. So two points for the IQ sound device and one point for the Realme GT Neo 2 which it did score and next is the Genshin Impact game 1, 2 and 3. So let's see friends, this is going to be a really interesting thing to see final game and after this I'll try to see the RAM management which I am really interested to see after opening this many like big games will the phone gonna sorry first phone to show the touch to open is the IQ sound device next is the Realme GT Neo 2. Two points and one point in the lead so one point. So touch to open first showed in the IQ sound device but let's try, try to start at same time one two and three let's see which phone enters into the 
world of Genshin Impact. And with the GT mode, everything is done using the GT mode only in the Realme GT Neo 2. You can see the loading speeds, how it's happening slightly kind of fast, I think. IQ 7, I'm not sure, but let's see. Let's wait for the final result. So any phone can surprise at the end. So that's the reason. First is the IQ 7 device. So three games did open faster in the IQ 7 smartphone. Three games. So three points for the IQ 7 device in terms of the opening speeds. We got to know the results. So in the speed test results, clearly the IQ 7 was able to slightly open faster, even with the GT mode as well. So still the Realme GT Neo 2 did manage to open the Battery Ones mobile game faster. And right now, let me need to show you background. All the complete games are completely in the background RAM management. You can clearly see. Now, let me need to start opening from the first application, first game, which is Asphalt 9 game. So let's see which phone can keep this Asphalt 9 game in the background RAM management. One, two, and uh, boom. So both phones didn't keep the Asphalt 9 game in the background. You can clearly see what's happening. And now let me need to select the second game, which is Battery One's mobile game. So one, two, and three. So Realme GT was GT Neo 2 was able to keep the Battery One's mobile game in the background, but IQ 7 did not keep the Battery One's mobile game in the background. You can clearly see what is happening. So one bonus point again in the RAM management, little bit in the Battery One's mobile game. And next is Call of Duty. Let's see Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3. So both phones did keep Call of Duty in the background RAM management, not bad. And next is the FIFA game. FIFA game also both phones, yes. Only one uh, Battery One's mobile game was able to keep the background RAM management in the Realme GT Neo 2. That one game. So friends, this is a quick uh, RAM management and the speed test comparison in both phones. I hope you understand uh, what is the point of this one. So using the GT mode slightly, it can little bit kind of speed up the process as well in the Realme GT Neo 2, little bit, but the speed is not, did not come very close to the IQ sound device. It came little bit, but not, did not uh, dominate this one in terms of the speed test opening games. So these are the big games which I did select friends. That's the reason I thought of uh, demonstrating side by side comparison. So in case if you have any other queries regarding these devices, let me know in the conversation below. Definitely I'll be able to do those kind of videos as soon as possible. And meanwhile, make sure to follow the playlist for the Realme GT Neo 2. So there I did upload plenty of reviews, what is happening and uh, with what phones I also complete, compared them as well. You will be able to understand what is going on, which one is the best option to buy and why as well. These are the things you should definitely know before you actually spend and uh, buy this, man, this much of high-end budget mobile phones. Is it worth it to buy and invest on these phones or not? That's what my main idea of making this many videos for you all. That's it friends. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates. In case if you have any other queries, let me know in the conversation below. Meanwhile, signing off and bye.